Okay, now I'm going to show you how to start the ICP OES system. Before you run, you on the equipment, please turn on the gas. So the position now is on. Uh, we have three types of gas. Nitrogen, complex air and argon. All must be on. After the gas is uh, on, now you have to turn on the power. First one is the main switch for the ICP. Next one is the switch for the chiller. The last one is the switch for the equipment. Now you have to turn on the PC power. Then you can on the power for the auto sampler. Once the window is started, now you can load your ICP software. The name is called WinLab32 for ICP. You just click the icon, the software will be launched. Now the software will check the status for your spectrometer, the plasma generator and the auto sampler. Once the machine has done the self-check, so the window will be disappear and now you can start to load the method. Uh, for the first time you need to create your own methods. The steps are file new method. So for this one always choose aqueous and you click OK. And under this method editor, you follow the instruction. First, come to spectral photometer and you go to periodic table. You choose the element you want to test. For today practice, we just choose iron as your element. You can click on the table or you can click from element to look for iron then you enter and close now the symbol iron is appear in the defined element next one you can go to the setting you follow the instruction from the menu, choose the purge gas, normal, time, auto, delay time 30, 60 seconds, and replicate, choose 3, and measure by element. Next one is the sampler, go to the plasma, you adjust the equilibration delay, 15 seconds, plasma condition, same for all elements, then go to aerostatic pump, the flow rate is 1.5, plus time is zero. Next one is the process, peak process, peak area 7, and then go to next is calibration, and now you should choose 
how many standard you want to test. This one need to be follow your instruction. For today, I just put three. The location is depends where you want to put your sample tubes. So normally I will choose from 9 onward. 